Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The fans of Sister Wives have always been grateful to Christine and Janelle. After years of injustice, these best friends made the decision to leave their polygamous husband behind. They are now prospering. According to reports, Janelle has made the decision to follow in Christine's footsteps and is also suing Cody Brown for custody in court. For her youngest kid, truly, Christine is requesting child support and paternity from her former husband, Cody Brown. Janelle might have been inspired by her fellow sister wife at the same time. She intends to pursue legal action, as well in order to prevent the polygamist from being able to purchase the Coyote Pass property from her. Let's investigate it further. After years of growing tension following their split from Cody, sister wives Janelle and Christine are finally fighting back. Cody Brown's use of devious tactics in sister wives is nothing new. When it came time for Christine to move out of Utah with her youngest daughter, Truly, following her breakup with Cody, he took a similar action. To make sure he gets to spend time with her daughter, he came up with a clever lie. Christine was taken aback upon learning the truth because all she had ever desired was controlled visitation. Christine is now prepared to go to court and is being represented by an attorney in her custody dispute for Truly. Regarding Janelle, she has also been having problems with her spouse. In the latest season, she revealed that she wanted Cody to buy her out, so he wouldn't talk to her about the family's Coyote Pass property. She also desires to represent this cause in court. Christine, one of the sister wives, is suing Cody for the real child support. Janelle is defending Coyote Pass. Christine is prepared to face off against Cody Brown in court. She is requesting child support for Truly, her youngest daughter. According to the court filings, the matriarch of sister wives also wishes to prove her daughter's 14-year-old daughter's fatherhood. This is as a result of their spiritual marriage, which prevents Cody Brown's name from appearing on the birth certificate. In addition, Christine is requesting regular visitation rights for Cody as well as a domestic relation injunction, which would prohibit the reality TV parents from, among other things, harassing one another, abusing one another, altering or terminating services pertaining to their kids, taking the kids on unapproved trips, disparaging one another in public, and so forth. Regarding Janelle, she expressed her worries on the most recent episode of the program. She added that Cody consistently avoids talking to her about the property in Coyote Pass. He refuses to budge even though she wants him to buy him out. Finally, she came to the conclusion that she might need to lawyer up in order to persuade Cody Brown to make any kind of decision. Janelle has not yet made an announcement regarding whether or not she has done so, but if she wanted things with Coyote Pass to proceed, she looked determined to take that course. After 27 years of marriage, Sister Wives actors Christine and Cody Brown are happy parents to six children, Aspen, Michael T., Gwendolyn, Isabel, Truly, and Paydon. The youngest of the ex-couple's children, teenage daughter Truly, went to Salt Lake City, Utah with her mother after they broke up in November 2021. In September 2024, Christine filed a lawsuit against Cody, demanding custody and retroactive child support. Additionally, because Cody wasn't named on her birth certificate, she requested that the court determine the teen's paternity. Amidst the turmoil surrounding Christine and Cody's child custody, fans are curious to learn more about all of their kids. Sister Wives Season 19 is getting off to a rocky start. Cody Brown and his wife's relationships are falling apart. The future of the land at Coyote Pass is questioned in a recent teaser clip, and Cody declares he won't talk to Janelle. See why by reading on. Janelle Brown claims she isn't talking to Cody. Sister Wives September 22nd show had a sneak look where Janelle Brown discussed her relationship with Cody. Fans are aware that they are divorcing, but it's unclear what that implies for the land in Coyote Pass. In the video, Janelle and her daughter Maddie are shown touring a Montana land they hope to jointly purchase. I don't communicate with Dylan, she says to the producers. We no longer live together, but we still call Flagstaff home. Indeed, there hasn't been a formal divorce. I don't need one and I don't know how to obtain one. She continues by informing Maddie that she has no idea how the Coyote Pass property in Flagstaff, Arizona, would turn out. It hasn't yet paid off. About six months from now the note is due, she informs her daughter. 
Your dad keeps getting asked and he says, I'm not going to make a plan till blah. The real story of the property held by Sister Wives. The Sister Wives actress then explains how Cody Brown's marriages have divided the property. Cody and I currently occupy the first two-acre parcel. Cody and Robin's two acres make up the second property. Mary, Cody, and I own the third, a four-acre lot. She says as a map of the properties appears on screen. And then, Cody and Robin claimed ownership of the five-acre site after Christine resigned. Robin owns her home. It was Christine's home. Mary has established a company, although she did not utilize any family funds. That was something she built herself. Janelle says, so, Mary, and I are like, this is basically the only asset we would be taking from the marriage. She is unable to obtain any information regarding the property's destiny from her divorced husband, though. Maddie asks her mother what will happen if the note isn't paid during their talk. The entire plot of land can be reclaimed by the seller, according to Janelle Brown, but she still hopes her ex will make good on their debt. She says, I'm sure your dad's going to want to pay that off, right? In search of some comfort. Maddie doesn't appear too confident. Janelle talks down the financial aspects of the matter in a confessional. If the note is not paid, the sister wife's family will forfeit all of their belongings. The note is secured by the remainder of our belongings. I think Cody should be taking this more seriously. It's absurd, she exclaims. Although Cody claims that Janelle routinely asks him questions concerning the property, he withholds information from her because he no longer has faith in her. He says to the cameras, I'm tired of giving information that goes through the gossip mill of our broken family. We will pay off the property when the time comes. I'm not giving you any details about what I'm doing or whatever. The ex-husband of Robin Brown and current husband revealed to people in a recent meeting that he is on the path to reconciliation, even though he acknowledges having great days and terrible days. As people are aware, Christine Brown, the previous wife number three, quite quickly after divorcing Cody in 2021, and the mother of six went on to marry David Woolley in October 2023. Janelle Brown, the previous woman number two, verified in January 2022 that she and Cody had become isolated. In January 2023, Cody and Mary Brown, the previous woman number one, forever ended their tense relationship. Since then, Mary has been dating her recently revealed beau, Amos Andrews. Although Cody has always been his own best friend since the earthy colored family first came into the public eye, he admits that his relationships with his previous girlfriends damaged his self-respect. On the grounds that it obliterates your certainty when you go through a separation or a family bifurcation, that he understood. As Ashley previously reported to you this month, Cody claimed in a recent meeting that he now had a better understanding of his own role in the breakup of the earthy colored family. It seems like my confidence is coming back, he said. I got to track down that area of effortlessness and love myself also, be it actually lenient of uncomplicated impacts like merely being upset over what has happened. I need to justify myself for that and carry on. Cody told people this week that he was concentrating on editing and reaching a place where you feel reduction towards reputation who simply set terrible impacts regarding you. What will push us ahead will be the elegance, the affection and the reduction, he said. Cody Brown isn't done pressuring Robin Brown, his fourth wife, to give him another chance, saying, the very beauty and love that we were giving each other multiple times back as we're going through this authentically sensitive interaction. Due to his terrible position over the past few years, the family women star has lost the favor of the majority of his family. Cody has established a monogamous relationship for himself as a means of protecting himself from his older children. The primogenitor's first three women left him out of love after he pursued full management. Additionally, it has somewhat worn the man out. Cody is currently trying to use his intelligence to idolize the last lady in an effort to hide any signs of failure. Who could possibly forget that Cody had previously given a lesson on the benefits of many marriages? Before the season 18 premiere, Cody and the women were asked to play a game for the online enjoyment of gentle loving care, with the Utah native remarking, love ought to be increased, not isolated. When given a specific identification term, the group asked Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, Robin and Cody to find out what resonated with them. When the word marriage appeared on the screen, Cody responded, now the source of all bliss, in an attempt to gain attention from his former partner. 
To fools, he undoubtedly stated that he was happier now than at any other point in his first legal marriage. When the word 2025 appeared on screen, Cody scratched and wrote, This is what's to come. His first three women gradually left him one by one as soon as he started acting erratic. Christine quickly left the city since she had long since realized her husband had been acting like a pet. Janelle trailed closely behind, having grown weary of Cody rejecting their children. Moreover, Mary was the last to leave. Mary had been put on the back burner for a while, and Cody had repeatedly stated that he had no desire to bring their honey back. Cody said, the source of all happiness and all annoyance. When the word family appeared on the screen, suckers don't need a demitasse ball to add something more to that statement. Although the idea that Robin and Cody are doing well may be promoted by tender loving care, suckers, I think that is a far way from the truth. On the train, Robin looked as though she didn't understand Cody's gesture. The polygamous primogenitor has expressed his outrage at his family's circumstances on several occasions, and he is finally turning his terrible station toward Robin. Regardless, the mother of five has already gone through one divorce and doesn't seem to be willing to put up with another awful marriage. The previous film shows Cody ranting about how they generally sold out me, but it seems as though Cody is unaware of what is right in front of him. Robin is robbed crying during the procession, adding, he is disrupting our relationship. Instead, it emphasizes all of the negative effects that have occurred. Everyone disassociates themselves, Cody. You are not unique. Robin is trying not to give up, but she can't help but feel like the nitwit that got left previously. Cody may be moronic, but he's not stupid. The 18-year-old father is actually afraid that his fourth and most beloved woman may be on her way out. The attempt to show admiration for Robin goes beyond merely disguising any signs of failure. I genuinely believe that he loves Robin and would go insane if she were to leave him too. It was noticeable that Robin seemed to be supporting her husband as the word euphoria appeared on the screen saying, My family and Cody. Robin views her family as her place of refuge, but will her once peaceful paradise eventually crumble? The most recent season will highlight the discord existing between the spouse and the family. Furthermore, love might not be enough, even though Cody could be doing everything in his power to win Robin back. It's clear that Cody is fighting an invisible war regarding his failure to see his polygamous family thrive. But if he really wants to hold on to his last marriage, he'll have to swallow his ego and work at being more transparent with Robin. If he doesn't succeed in doing so, I think the marriage will fall apart, no matter how many kind words he tries to use to console her. They simply wouldn't be enough. Sister women are giggling with delight over Cody Brown's most recent visit. The 55-year-old reality star is expanding her fan base with an atypical search in preparation for the arrival of sister ladies. Is Cody merely trying to hold on to control over the unscripted television game? Or is this a case of him going through a life makeover? In one way or another, the project is out of control. Since roughly 2010 Cody, the man known for putting different women on family ladies' gentle loving care, has been a regular TV star. For almost a decade, his polygamous lifestyle has piqued interest and engaged religious discourse. In 1990, Cody first made his most unforgettable woman, Mary, his wife. He grew his family over the years by including Janelle, Christine, and Robin. However, the delusion was dispelled forever, as Mary and Cody parted ways in 2022, subsequent to Janelle and Christine's departure in 2021. Suckers are agog over Cody's most extravagant changes as the upcoming season approaches. Many speculate that the celebrity, who looks noticeably strange in the new procession, has been playing around with Botox and lip augmentations. The internet is ablaze with discussion over Cody's potential breakthroughs. Is it probably true Cody is a normal at the Botox and lip cushioning bar? Looks like he's going to the tanning salon too. A very perceptive Reddit user said with a screenshot from the procession. This post sparked a debate among Redditors with one stoner joking, that wouldn't shock me in the least. He honestly believes he's all that. Another said, yes, he definitely had lip paddings. There's no denying it. Meanwhile, a third witness added, gracious, I think you're right regarding the tanning at any rate, bringing up the point that, see how tan slash hopeful his face is contrasted and the skin around his eyes. It looked as though he was tanning and wearing those small goggles that cover your eyes. I keep worrying about whether we'll at any time figure out how precisely he has controlled his hairline. 
Cody earthy colored's ascent to distinction began when sister females earlier vented, witching eyewitnesses with the intricate details of his polygamous living. The series, which stars Cody, his girlfriend Robin, his ex spouses Mary, Janelle, and Christine, as well as 18 children, has been a huge hit on several occasions. Because of the earthy colored family's remarkable uniqueness, they unscripted the television audience and changed a particular show into a public setting. On September 15, 2024, the 19th season is scheduled to debut, and fans are getting ready for some extra deep roller coasters. This season will address the terrible loss of Cody and Janelle's kid, Post, as well as the fallout from previous detachments. Anticipate a season filled with grief, transition, and perhaps a lot more elaborate surprises. Nevertheless, this season will be one to remember. In the unlikely event that Cody's new appearance is any indication, the earthy colored family will continue to explore their complicated lives on television in this fashion. After seasons of fumbling in her multiple relationships with Cody, Christine Brown has met her first love David Woolley. After a period long courting they are getting married. The unique read went on. Set against the superb red gems of Moab, Utah, Christine gets the huge customary marriage she has consistently envisioned having. Christine, 51, and David, 59, got engaged on October 7, 2023. On Sunday, January 14, people will witness the historic conclusion of their marriage as the organization just unveiled a train featuring the family lady star and her family, ready for the historic occasion. In the video, Christine can be heard openly criticizing her ex-husband, Cody Brown, saying that her marriage is all that she's needed for such a long time. Following multiple marriages and the consumption of six children, Christine and the polygamist separated in November 2021. The secret also revealed Christine's former family woman, Janelle Brown, confirming David and Christine's love for each other. The couple met on a dating app sometime before their October wedding, with Christine telling people that she was first and foremost wary of getting to know David because she wasn't as brave as he would have been. Janelle, 54, also made the decision to end her otherworldly marriage to Cody, 54, shortly after Christine. I'm overtaken with satisfaction, Janelle said, adding, she feels adored. She feels seen. I told him first and he responded as well, she said. He once said that he loved camping and I was like, that won't work for me equally. She eventually decided to go out with him, and the two hit it off right away. I concluded we had where we simply clicked very well. And furthermore on our other date, I recognized that we actually had where truly extraordinary. By February 2023 they were Instagram functionaries and a month later David proposed. They participated in April over the Easter break, and used web-based entertainment to simply spread the word. She disclosed to people that she didn't feel the slightest bit shocked because she felt secure in David's company. I've never been more infatuated than I am now, and the world seems like a more amazing place with him in it. I'm so uneasy for the terrible journey we will embark on until the end of our lives, she explained. Paydon, Christine's child, led her most of the way down the walkway to the structure, with her pater taking over later. Christine and David decided not to have traditional bridesmaids and groomsmen, instead having their combined 16 grandchildren walk down the aisle with them. It was only the couple and their officiant for the structure. The entire such-like stage location where the circle part was and such, I simply argued that it should be the three of us about there. I simply maintained that it should be more comfy. I simply needed to stick around there just with David and our officiant Corbin, March was told by Christine. She added that one of the best days of her life was their wedding day.